Get ready for another video in Alex's garage. All right, so in the garage today, we're going to be uh, bleeding the brakes and the clutch lines. The um, part of the process here in this in uh, rebuilding the 77 MGB here, uh, we've replaced uh, both the master cylinder for the brakes and the master cylinder for the clutch, as well as rebuilt the front brake calipers for the disc brakes and replaced both of the slave cylinders in the rears. So there's little to no actual fluid <clears throat> anywhere in any of the lines uh, clutch or brake so um, we're going to be pumping through uh, and putting some 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 clean uh, uh, dot four brake fluid in there and uh, getting all the air out of the lines today and the way we're going to do that is we're going to use this um, uh, Pittsburgh uh, brake bleeder vacuum pump kit that I got at uh, uh, Harbor Freight in a previous video you may have seen I've used this device to check the vacuum on uh, uh, the distributor vacuum advance and found that it didn't it didn't hold a vacuum. So uh, basically this is just a little hand pump and uh, If you pump a bit you can see it can draw a vacuum And it's just you know, there's five pounds of vacuum right there. It's not that hard to get um, all we're very, really trying to achieve here is uh, a difference in the atmospheric pressure to allow um, the the atmospheric pressure is like 14 pounds and it will uh, push the the fluid through and you want to just evacuate all the air um, and uh, since I'm just one guy working in the garage here and I don't want to be running back and forth and we're gonna fill the lines there's no there's no there's no fluid anywhere in the line so we're gonna um, empty out the reservoirs uh, what I've kind of fashioned together here is a uh, um, a little feed system that will use that vacuum pressure uh, to draw from the um, uh, the container that I have of the brake fluid um, and draw that into the uh, the, the brake reservoir and the uh, the clutch reservoir this little this little uh, apparatus here is a uh, uh, a lid from um, a water bottle uh, it has a very snug piece of vinyl tubing and inside that we've run a bit more flexible piece of vinyl tubing this will go into the uh the res uh, the container that i have of the brake fluid and and this will connect down onto the top of the 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 brake reservoir the the master cylinder this these threads fit just fine and there's a little i don't know like see a little plastic gasket right here uh, so once we get that down nice and tight, that should draw, as we're pumping um, uh, a vacuum down on the lines, that should be enough to draw um, the uh, fresh fluid up into the system. You don't want to, when you're bleeding the lines, you don't want to draw the reservoir dry and then start reintroducing new air because then you have to redo it all over again. Um, and so that's what this method is intended to do is just to, to limit the amount of uh, running back and forth to refill that reservoir as uh, is, is needed. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started and see how this works. Okay, so right here you can see I've got the uh, the clutch cil uh, master cylinder all set up. I've got my little cap on here. The, the line runs up over and goes into the um, uh, the bottle of uh, brake fluid. Uh, you notice I've, I haven't, it's not leaking, there's no dirty or anything, there's no dripping or anything, but um, brake fluid is very, um, very caustic and it will eat your paint. Uh, so if you have any kind of a spill whatsoever, you want to manage it very quickly. Uh, and so I've pre pre-positioned some, some, uh, paper towels here and there, just some shop towels to make sure that if, uh, if I do get a leak and I don't catch it in time, um, the, the paper towels will help to mitigate that. Um, and then we'll make sure that as we move from one to the next, we clean up the surface areas really well, uh, to keep the paint from getting all boogered up. All right, so let's get underneath the car and start drawing some fluid. Okay, so here I am underneath the car. This is the uh, uh, the slave cylinder for the clutch. Um, the kit that you, with this uh, this brake bleeding kit comes with these little boots that you can put on to the uh, the brake bleeders, uh, and they slide into the little vinyl tube. But uh, in this case, 
The vinyl tube fit just fine. This is a bit larger ble bleeder and it fit just fine directly over it. Um, got a little 7 sixteenths uh, connector here or uh, wrench and uh, I just loosen it a little bit and then tighten it back up just lightly tighten it so that it's ready to be uh, you know easily loosened and tightened um, as needed and um, and you notice on the, on the pump it has this little reservoir uh, you don't want to allow any brake fluid to get back into the pump and re damage the rubber tubes or that uh, the the rubber seals on that because that that'll keep it from working right um, so this little reservoir here will catch any spatters that come down through the tube ultimately all you want is the air to come out uh, but there is going to be some bad fluid um, and there will be some you know splatters that'll get it. and this little cup will catch that uh, and it will prevent the uh, the pump from from having any issues all so, right so um, let me just give you a quick breakdown here you see um, I've got a hose connected directly to the bleeder tube. Uh, what you'll notice on here is that I used a smaller bleeder tube um, on the brake, the brake line than I did on the clutch. It turns out that um, that clutch bleeder uh, gave off, a, a, it leaked a lot of gas, so it barely drew a vacuum into the system. So I was unable to really use the pump um, on the clutch system. We had to use the buddy system. And I'll show you how to do the buddy system in a few seconds here. But I'm going to show you what I'm doing, what I'm working on here with uh, with these rear brakes. All right, so the the way that you do this is you take a seven millimeter box wrench and you put it on first so that it goes past the bleeder socket, right? And then you want to put the tube on. Um, and you can see I've got this tube really, really on there. It's a real, it's a much smaller tube than what fits on this thing. And the idea is that you absolutely don't want to have any kind of air leakage whatsoever. Um, and so what you'll find is I was able to get the pump to pump up and hold a vacuum. I couldn't do this with the. Uh, with the clutch, but it'll it'll hold a vacuum for you know quite a good long time. So we know that there's no there's no leaks in any of the connectors. Um, and then when you see, I've got uh, there's a tube that goes in here. The tube comes down and it goes down into some uh, some fluid. The idea there is that you don't want any air to back back into the line and See, I've still got a vacuum on here, and when I open up the vent, the air will pump through, and then you can close it. See, I didn't lose the whole vacuum; it's still in there. the um, The problem here is the compressibility of the air. Um, uh, with a brand new master cylinder and brand brand new slave cylinders, and um, the lines being partially drained. There's just so much air in the lines that I really don't think that we can get this little hand pump to perform the amount of vacuum that we need without, you know, turning my wrist into Popeye wrist. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the buddy system. Uh, the way the buddy system works is you get somebody in the car and um, you get them to uh, uh, to push on the brakes. Um, and then and then lay off on the brakes uh, rhythm, rhythmically, and you when they when they push down, then you can you can open up the brakes, and then you let out some uh, uh, a little bit of uh, fluid or whatever you can get out of it, and then you close it, and then you ask them to to let off the brake, and then pump it again, and you do it in rhythm uh, so that you don't you don't have any negative pressure going into the line. You only want the full the positive pressure uh, to come out the bleeder. Uh, so I'm going to do the buddy system real quick. I got my wife in the car. Um, she's <laughs> she's my best buddy, and uh, um, and we're going to do the buddy system. So are you ready in there, buddy? I'm ready. Okay. Alrighty, let's get started. So I've got the the bleeder closed, and uh, I'm going to say, okay, push on the brake. And she's going to acknowledge when the brake is pushed. And then I'm going to open it. 
and I'm going to close it. Okay, let up the brake. Push down on the brake. Yeah. Close it again. Okay, let up on the brake. Oh. And then down. Yeah. Okay, you can see. Okay, up. Oh. You can see there's air moving through the line. Down. Yeah. When I opened it. So there's something coming through. Up. Oh. Down. Yeah. So she's pumping some pressure in there. Up. Oh. Down. Okay, up, down, okay, it's going to take a while to get all that air out of there before we can even get to where there's any fluid. So I'm going to go ahead and cut away the video and we'll, we'll catch back in once we start getting some fluid moving. Up, down. All right, so I'm unable to get any kind of fluid to come out of this this bleeder. So I started checking the lines and tracing the lines back, I'm looking for a place where maybe there's an obstruction. And behold, I see that I need to replace this line right here. This line right here comes across here and it goes down to this union. This is where it splits off and goes from the left and the right brake. But this rubber hose right here is badly frayed right here. And I am going to replace this um, just for a matter of relying on the brakes. I don't think I can rely on this piece. So, all right, here's a much better view of, uh, of that piece that's going to get replaced. Uh, this this is the line that goes up to the front and it connects to this little bracket which goes down to that little T right down there. We're going to replace that rubber hose. Um, and while it's off, I'm going to try to pump some brake line through that, some brake fluid through there to make sure it's clear and, and everything can, can flow. But I'm certain that's our problem. So uh, this is going to become a part one video. Uh, so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe and uh, check it out when I replace this little baby here and get the rear brakes uh, bled. Now I was able to, to bleed the front brakes. Uh, they, they don't have a problem, but actually I think this particular master cylinder has two circuits, one for the front and one from the back. So that really wasn't a problem. I just could not get pressure um, to this back line and I, I, I think it's because of this. So um, I'm going to pull this out and then we're going to see if we can get brake fluid to come out while it's off and I'm going to replace this rubber hose. So stay tuned and uh, check us out when we get to part two.